This video will show you how to set up your Expend integration with Xero. To use your Expend cards with Xero, you'll need to connect your company's Expend and Xero accounts and configure some syncing options. This only needs to be done once, but you can make changes in the future if necessary. In the dashboard, click Settings, click Integrations, and then click Xero. Follow the steps to connect Xero and configure your syncing. All setup and configuration for syncing Expend with Xero is done on this page. First of all, you'll need to turn on Xero Syncing. Click the Connect button to connect your Xero account and your Expend account. You'll be redirected to Xero. Log in to your Xero account and click Allow Access to authorise Expend to access your Xero data. You'll be returned to the Expend dashboard to continue setup. You can also disconnect and stop syncing here. To set your control accounts, Expend needs some new accounts in your Xero chart of accounts. They will be used to record transactions made with Expend cards and to keep track of money loaded into your float account. The following control accounts are required. Fund control account for transactions loading money to your float account. Cash withdrawal account for keeping track of cash withdrawals made using Expend cards. Rejected expenses for transactions submitted as expenses but rejected during expense reviewal. Uncategorised expenses for expend card transactions not yet assigned a category or for which the category isn't mapped to a zero account. You can create the accounts directly in your zero chart of accounts, but we recommend using the zero asset account and zero expense account buttons on the zero configuration page to quickly create new accounts with the appropriate settings. We also recommend creating new accounts instead of using existing accounts. To set your tax mappings, select the tax rate in your accounting platform in the drop-down list for each of the system and custom tax rates. For custom tax types in Expend, both active and archive tax types should be mapped. Next, you can set your account mappings. When you submit an expense report for a transaction in Expend, you can select a category for that expense, such as travel, entertainment, office supplies and so on. Using the category you selected, Expend files it to the appropriate account in your Xero chart of accounts. In this section, you can set up which Expend category maps to which Xero account. If you don't find the account you need, you can create one and Expend will set it up for you in Xero. Simply click Xero Expense Account and in the form that opens, enter an account name and a code. Note that the account will be created in Xero as with the account type Expense and tax setting Xero Rated Expenses. You can change this in your Xero chart of accounts if needed. Expense Sync Settings. You can specify at which point you want Expend card transactions to sync to Xero. You have four options. The first is that the transaction is final and you've approved or rejected it. We usually set this as default. The transaction is final when the merchant has taken the funds. Once you've approved or rejected the expense report and the transaction is final, we will sync it for you. The second option is that you've approved or rejected it. With this setting, the transaction may not be final yet. If you reconcile it and then something changes, such as foreign exchange adjustments or fees, we may be unable to update the amount. The third option, the transaction is final. With this setting, the transaction is final, so the amount won't change. But if you reconcile it in zero, we'll be unable to sync further changes to the expense details, such as category, notes or tracking details. The fourth option, the card is used. We don't usually recommend this setting. With this setting, neither the transaction nor the expense details are final. We usually recommend that you wait until the transaction appears in your bank feed before reconciling it. Once reconciled, we'll be unable to sync any further changes to the expense details or the transaction amount. However, receipts that were lost but then found can still be sent through after reconciliation. Advanced settings. If this is turned on, tax information will be sent to zero even if the expense doesn't have a receipt attached. We usually suggest that you leave this off. When cash is marked as returned and expend, the funds will be transferred to the zero account designated here. Again, we suggest that you leave this off. If you want to, you can sync expenses from a specific date. Expenses before this date will not be synced. If you don't specify a date, all expenses will be synced. This will only apply the first time when you set up your configuration. Make sure you click save to finish and save your settings. If you make changes in the future, your updated settings will apply to all new transactions and expenses. If you need any other help to look at your Xero integration, please find our help guides online.